In this video, you will learn about a subject that no one likes talking about, the environmental impact of non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. We take an in-depth look into the carbon footprint of blockchain technology, and we break down every watt hour of energy consumed in processing NFTs from creation to sale. We created this video to provide a factual, unopinionated view based on a recent study, with the idea to spark a well-informed conversation. Things to know before we start. NFTs briefly defined. NFTs are a way to verify true ownership of a digital item by attaching a unique key to it via a process called minting. When an NFT is minted, data that represents ownership is stored on a blockchain network, and whoever started the minting process is given the key that unlocks the ownership data on the blockchain. When you buy an NFT, you buy the only verifiable version of the item. This naturally increases its value because the item is unique in comparison to its copies that are non-NFT versions. Power Consumption of Blockchain Technology NFT data is stored on the blockchain and through the proof-of-work mechanism, data blocks are checked by miners in order to reach consensus about the integrity of the data. This process is what makes blockchain technology highly secure and decentralized but the continuous data checks cost computational power. Regular blockchain usage, such as trading cryptocurrencies, require, simply put, two actions, currency in registration and currency out registration. In the case of NFTs, multiple blockchain data blocks are added, which in comparison with regular usage requires more checks, simply because all of the NFT data is larger in size than regular transaction data. This calls for the argument that the power usage and thereby carbon footprint for just NFTs is out of balance. Chapter 1 – Carbon Footprint Calculation To clarify first, what exactly is a carbon footprint? A carbon footprint is the sum of all carbon emissions released throughout a product's manufacture process and use. As you can imagine, there are many variables, so we usually refer to an approximation when discussing carbon footprint. In the case of calculating the carbon footprint of NFTs, there are several phases in the process that have no carbon footprint and there are very few scientific peer-reviewed publications on the topic. Hence, estimating the carbon footprint of creating an NFT is difficult and at this moment relies on estimations. Let's look at the process specifically for NFTs that use the Ethereum blockchain. A couple of things must happen to create or mint an NFT. One. At the moment of minting, the token must be verified as a commodity on the blockchain. 2. The account balance of the owner must be adjusted to reflect the addition of that commodity. This enables it to be exchanged or verifiably owned in the future. 3. The transactions mentioned above must be included in a block on the blockchain. 4. All miners must reach consensus that the block is valid via the proof-of-work mechanism. Miners are responsible for all of these tasks, and the proof-of-work mechanism informs the entire Ethereum network about the actual ownership status of the NFT. This means that mining must be sufficiently challenging or else the proof-of-work system is susceptible to faulty data. Looking at the mining process, a single Ethereum transaction has a carbon impact of 33.4 kilograms of CO2, which is roughly comparable to 74,000 Visa transactions. In contrast, the average transaction for NFTs has a carbon footprint of roughly 48 kilograms of CO2. Chapter 2 – Carbon Footprint Data 80,000 transactions were examined, involving 18,000 NFTs on the super rare NFT marketplace, which is one of the more popular NFT marketplaces at this moment. The average footprint of a single transaction involving an NFT, including minting, bids, sales and transfers is 82 kilowatt hour with outputs of 48 kilograms carbon. This is more than twice the cost of a regular Ethereum blockchain transaction. Now, a single NFT may include many transactions, including minting, bidding, canceling, sales and ownership transfers. Dividing the footprint by transaction type, we get minting 142 kilowatt hour 83 kilograms carbon. Bids 41 kilowatt hour, 24 kilograms carbon. Cancel bid, 12 kilowatt hour, 7 kilograms carbon. 
Sale, 87 kilowatt hour, 51 kilograms carbon. Transfer of ownership, 52 kilowatt hour, 30 kilograms carbon. This often boosts the footprint of a single NFT into the 100 to 900 kilowatt hour range, as well as hundreds of kilograms of carbon emissions, if not more. In reality, the average NFT has a footprint of roughly 340 kilowatt hour or 211 kilograms carbon of the 18,000 NFTs on the super rare marketplace. A single NFT footprint is similar to a month's worth of total electric power use for a European resident, with emissions identical to driving 1,000 kilometers or flying for two hours. It's also important to remember that each time an NFT is created or sold, it's a new transaction. Now imagine this, one single edition NFT costs an energy usage of 340 kilowatt hour and emissions of 21 kilograms of carbon. A single artist would very likely sell multiple NFTs, which would multiply those numbers proportionately. Chapter 3. How NFTs are impacting the environment 67% of the 633 artists on SuperRare have NFTs with a CO2 footprint greater than one ton, even though half of the artists have just joined the platform in the previous six months. 18% of the artists' NFTs had a carbon footprint larger than 10 tons. To put it in context, this is the equivalent of 12 transatlantic trips or a five-year supply of electricity for a European resident. On Super Rare, the average footprint of an artist's NFT is 10 megawatt hour, 6 ton CO2, whereas the median is 3 megawatt hour, 2 ton CO2. That makes the average NFT footprint equivalent to a European resident's electricity consumption for three years, or driving for 30,000 kilometers in a petrol-fed car, or taking a flight for 57 hours straight. Now let's take all the NFTs registered on SuperRare and see their combined impact on the environment to get an idea of the bigger picture. The total number of NFTs currently on SuperRare is 18,159. The ecological cost of keeping track of all these amounts to the energy usage of 6,154,717 kilowatt hour, or roughly 6 gigawatt hours, and emissions amounting to 3.8 metric tons of CO2. This is equivalent to 2,000 years worth of electrical energy consumption by a single person in Europe, or driving for 20 million kilometers, or flying for 37,000 hours. Keep in mind that these numbers are only for one of many NFT marketplaces and also based on numbers at the beginning of the NFT revolution. Chapter 4 Solutions Lower Carbon NFTs The fundamental reason for the high energy consumption of blockchains like Ethereum and Bitcoin is that they use a consensus mechanism called Proof of Work. Proof of Work is an excellent system to verify data integrity but as global adoption of blockchains that use proof-of-work technology increases, so does the power consumption by miners to verify the data. Other blockchain variants that offer NFT support such as Tezos, Symbol, and Polygon all make use of the improved proof-of-stake mechanism that does not require large amounts of computing power and therefore use less electricity. Tezos, for example, claims that their blockchain uses only 0.00006 terawatt hours of energy per year, compared to 33.357 terawatt hour for Ethereum. However, there is good news for Ethereum fans. With ETH 2.0, a greener proof-of-stake upgrade is proposed for the current Ethereum ecosystem. Ethereum plans to bring down the costs, as well as the ecological impact of not just NFTs, but the Ethereum blockchain as a whole by as much as 99.98%. Carbon offsets. Another possibility is the utilization of carbon offsets. A carbon offset is a payment that you make to help fund a project that reduces carbon emissions, such as developing solar power plants to reduce the use of fossil fuels or removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, like planting forests. The number of offsets you can buy can theoretically match the number of carbon emissions you produce, so the two can be cancelled out. Though they appear to be a good solution, specialists advise that they should only be used when there are no other options because it can take decades to offset the carbon emissions. Now you know how NFTs impact the environment and you are better equipped with knowledge to make an educated decision 
whether you support or disapprove of their usage. Keep in mind that, regardless of whether the blockchain uses proof-of-work or proof-of-stake, electricity consumption isn't the only factor that contributes to its carbon and environmental footprint. More computer hardware is used as the number of Bitcoin miners and stakers grows, which has its own industrial and extractive effects. As a result, the total carbon footprint of NFTs is almost sure to be larger than previously projected. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel to show your support so that we can continue making these explainer videos.